But I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't know where to start. We start from here. From here. Amen. You was here, Ali. My coming to your miss, in fact, uh, is just to lay a foundation. I I am here to lay foundation. That's it. Now, today, we start snug up here. Amen. So, 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 on this Monday, book by Balaba, two and Vilaki Copona, I think, but just umbo, 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 I don't let it be for just to see. I think it will attend. But I think it will attend. Oh, my, did it just today? It didn't be a pecky was in the car you had a coat today. Could you take my phone? What is it? Is your father? The coming of Jesus. The reason why the coming of Jesus is delayed is because God wants you to repent. <laughs> repent from your sin so that you will not perish. By the time Jesus comes, you will not perish, you will inherit the kingdom of God. You will yeah. from your childhood, you will be Jesus will come like a thief in the night. But you have been waiting for the coming of Jesus. The reason why the coming of Jesus has been delayed is because of you and me. Jesus wants you to repent. He doesn't want you to perish. By the time you come, he can be carrying you to the eternal your sin. If Jesus should come and you have not repented, well, the coming of Jesus in your life has no meaning. Yes. But in order for the coming of Jesus to have meaning in your life, you need to repent. You have to repent today, repent and accept Jesus. So that when Jesus comes, you can join him in the kingdom of God. So for me, and for me and my house, and I believe you are my house. Yes. 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 See, we with We thank God. Uh, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. I want to thank you for your time. And for the heart you have for Jesus. Good morning. You are welcome. Time for everything. It's time to come here. And it's time to return home. After service. Many people. Want to be here but they live in troubled spots. Don't forget them in prayer. For you to be here today is grace. What our nation is going through will soon be over. Let us watch and pray. The book of Matthew 36. Watch and pray. Many of us are here, just pray. And then a lot of things in the house. Their attitude of unfaithfulness, disobedience are still there. They just want to pray, receive prayer. Sons of people, anything can happen to them while they are coming to synagogue. There's so much kidnapping, killing, and destruction outside. 
anything can happen to such a people why they come in here but they are only to receive prayer with their sham with their bad attitude their own to receive prayer so this is what we are going to resort to interactive prayer session I hope you listen to me can you give me somebody the reason why we want to resort to interactive? You'll be at home and we'll pray for you. The reason? Because Jesus is alive and Jesus is everywhere. While you can be in Nigeria, Lagos, to pray for someone in India. Let you hear from our Father here. The reason why we want to resort to this, you'll be at home, we'll be praying for you. Instead of coming here. Because of the times. Eh? Because of the times, and more so that these people are very far away, and uh, God is. Can somebody answer me? Because uh, some of us have bad attitudes. Uh, we are Christians, but we don't do the things of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the moment Prophet T.B. Joshua left the service. Let's open our hearts as we continue to worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Let us watch and pray. If today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, today is my last day on the earth. Huh? <laughs> if God has shown me, TV Joshua, today is your last day on the earth, and ah, I, I should come out and say, praise the Lord, today is my last day on the earth. I will talk to you in parable so that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables. Called home to rest. Look at this woman from Wally. We have people from his community to this place. There are millionaires, but they cannot help her. But they keep helping others that will say thank you, because they have nothing to gain from this woman. She's not a young lady. They cannot go out with her. She has children. They cannot marry her. There is nothing you can do. You will become a body to them. You can't put her in the office to be your clerk or your, your manager. You can't send her anywhere around. They feel happy her is of no use. These are the kind of people you should raise We come from different backgrounds. Today is Sunday, yesterday Saturday. Many came through party, where did you dance and display money. Many from club, social club, community club, different backgrounds. Many went to wedding yesterday, funeral. And those places, they display money, they show off money. But here is the house of God. Why can't we let the world know the value of money? The real value of money is to help our fellow brothers. You are blessed to bless others. That is the real value. The real value is to help the needy. Help. Because you are, because I am. I am because you are. Where I am weak, you are strong. Where I am strong, you are weak. So what we are doing now is to tell you that, look, when you leave here today, don't let your fellow brother come to you and say, I need your help. Even the house you are living, how can you say little children on Monday, Tuesday, roaming about? And you can't call them. Are you not going to school? What are you doing at home? By the time you meet the parent, parent will say, oh, we are very sorry, we can't afford the school fee. Come to the aid. 
In many homes you are living, every day the tenant fighting with landlord. You always hear their voices. Why can't you come to their aid and ask the landlord, what is the problem? Landlord will say, oh, the problem is he refused to pay my house rent. Why can't you call the tenant? Okay, what is the problem? Do you want to live here? How much? What do you need? Help. Settle them down. Don't allow this marriage to divorce. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Les donner à cette femme 100 000 naira, il est revenu lui donner tout ça. The reason why we are doing it is to change your perception, your belief, your philosophy. What you are used to is to give those who can give you, those who appreciate you, you love appreciation. We just received a phone call from one of our prayer lines by one of the viewers who was watching Emmanuel TV and he saw the woman, he listened to her story, her pathetic story, the woman that was delivered from the spirit of credit and the man of God blessed her with a sum of 400,000 naira. The man said he's ready to pay her house rent and